Well, welcome. Today's uh, presentation is on how to put a Lisp routine on your tool palette. In the drawing that I have here, you'll notice I have an arc, and I have a Lisp routine that'll put a tick mark at the end and beginning of each curve. And that Lisp routine, I really don't want to go out there and do the load command every time and run that Lisp routine, so an easier way to do that would be, of course, to put it on your tool palette. I'm going to open up the tool palette here. Okay, now that we have the tool palette open there, um, the first thing I need to do is put some kind of an object in here to assign the command line to. So in my case, I'm going to do a simple little line, just any line right here, save my drawing. Uh, anytime you add something to a tool palette, you have to save the drawing. Once the drawing is saved, we can simply grab that line now. And not grabbing one of the grip marks, but just holding our left mouse button down any place, drag it into the tool space. By the way, I've made my own tool palette here called Larry. I've got that uh, that item there now and if I right click on that item I can go down here to properties and you'll notice a few things down here that we need to uh, to see. We've got a couple of things in here like the name so we can call this ticks lisp. That's an easy way to do it. We can add an image on there later but not for right now. Uh, one of the important things you want to do here is to change this user flyout from yes to no and we can get rid of the command line string here and then we can and then we can uh, replace that with the command line that we need to have I'm just going to hit a control V because I already had my connect command line there the one thing that you will notice is that the backslashes here and here cannot be backslashes in this command line they have to be switched to a forward slash so basically what I'm doing here is loading my Lisp routine and then running the actual Lisp file that I want within that. Uh, once I have that, that's pretty much all I need. I can go ahead and hit OK. That Lisp routine is now there. If I want, I can do a couple of uh, fancy things up here, like I could have this whole uh, thing being my tab for Lisp routines, or I could have it separated out. I can put in a separator line, move this down below it, and even put in uh, maybe some text up here that says um, Oh, let's see, let's rename that to Lisp Routines. And then we'll grab that one and bring it up there. There we go. So I could have all my Lisp Routines sorted out in whatever categories I need to have them. Okay, now that I've got that, I really don't need this anymore. I can go ahead and get rid of that. I can run that Lisp Routine now if you've never seen it work before. Select the arc. I'm going to put in uh, two for the tick size. And I'm going to put a T for ticks. And whatever layer in there is your tick marks. So a real easy way to get um, Lisp routines up here. And again, I can change this this um, image if I want. That's real simple to do. Go back to Properties or go here to Specify Image. And you can put whatever image you want in there. Okay, thanks a lot.